Good evening, everybody. It's great to see you once again. And I'm just going to keep saying that because I say it every time. And I'm not going to keep saying that I'm not going to say it every time, even though I am going to see it, say it every time. But after a live stream that I did with a brother in Christ over at Grafted Branch Ministries, check out his stuff. He's really good. He's got some good stuff over there. And after a video I just watched of him, I thought to myself today, as Christians, do we talk the talk? Do you mean talk the walk or walk the talk? No, do we just talk? Or do we walk? Do we walk away? Do we walk to? Or are we going to stand firm? Are we going to walk the talk? Are we going to do what we're supposed to do? Or are we going to just keep on saying things? Because honestly, as I have to, as I look at the video he just did and the live stream, am I a hypocrite? It's been a few months that I've actually handed someone a gospel track. Maybe more than that. And yes, I've been dropping him off at the CVSs and the Walgreens and some of the 7-Elevens and different locations wherever I can drop him. But have I actually just physically handed someone one? It's been a while. It's been a while. I've been so busy with the live stream, my own ministry. Not to say that those things aren't important. And doing this and doing that. Well, maybe instead of doing a video one night or one afternoon, maybe I go back on the streets. Do I hide behind the camera? used to be a time when I was very much the guy who when he trying to think of the old ways of saying this but put up or shut up was a popular one me growing up you want to run your mouth but can you back it and that happens a lot and I'm noticing that I'm not backing it lately I've been spending more time talking my feet ain't moved too far from this area. My feet should be out there moving on the pavement or on the gravel ground or on the dirt road. No, I'm not trying to stream, uh, stream, string some neat little phrases together to sound cool like an old Baptist preacher from the South in the 1940s. I'm being serious. At what point do you step up the game? Especially for myself and my brother, Scotty, out there. If we're going to do these programs, which I think are absolutely needed, are we going to sit here and talk? Or is there going to be action? Are we going to get comfortable behind a mic? Or get uncomfortable and get some doors slammed in our faces? I want doors slammed in my face. Wait a minute, Steve. Don't you want to save anybody? Of course I do. What I'm saying is, it's easy to say don't fear anything when I'm sitting here behind a mic. What about out there? What about yourself? Are you telling other people the same thing? It's been a while. Today I had an opportunity. I did not blow this opportunity. This gentleman was wearing some sort of Viking thing. He's got these two little wolves um, chewing on a ring on some little hammer or thingamajingy. Basically, it was a Viking Nordic thing. You know, the, the gods Thor, Ragnarok, or Ragnar, Ragnarok, or whatever it is. I briefly talked to him about that. And there seems to be a little interest there. Not going to go overboard at the moment. Work with the gentleman now. So we'll go over it more. So my question to you is, are you going to walk the talk? Are you going to walk the walk? Are you going to talk the talk? Are you going to step up? Are you going to put up or are you going to shut up? Are you going to stand your ground firm? Are you going to be steadfast? Are you going to be steadfast right up to that moment going, eh, a little too much, a little too much, a little too much. For me, 
If I'm going to be on here, more than anyone out there, other people are on, don't have a YouTube channel. They're not on Rumble. They're not putting out the gospel in this manner. So if I'm going to get behind this mic and talk, then I better be able to back up what I say. So I thank Scotty for his video, and I thank Scotty for the live stream over at Grafted Branch Ministries, because this, for me, has gotten my, uh, my tail and back in the saddle, doing what I'm supposed to do. See, we're supposed to exhort one another. You can exhort the brethren without being evil or bad. There are times, as in Acts chapter 14 and 15, we need to exhort the brethren. Edify. So I'm going to end it with this. If you're born again, you're saved, get out there. Get out there and check out Scotty over at uh, Graft the Branch. He just did a great job on a video about evangelizing. And with that, also tune in every Friday night. I feel like I'm plugging the show like the, like people do on TV and when they plug books. But check it out on Fridays. I'm not sure what you're going to see. But I know one thing you're going to get. And that's a truth. Here. Not my truth, not Scotty's truth, God's truth. With that, I thank you. God bless. Have a good evening.